Hi, I'm Mark Duncan. Welcome to LVI TV. Now, I know it's hard to get too excited about how to make anyone who's labeled as an elite just a little bit better, but it turns out that many of the things done to improve race car performance make driving my Yugo a bit more pleasant. The same thing happens when we take a look at the things that make elite athletes perform just a little bit better. In a recent consensus statement published by the British Journal of Sports Medicine, the authors made a call for action to tackle the poor oral health among athletes. They said that simple measures such as brushing and flossing could provide the same marginal performance gains that are found with involved physical therapy. Now, while this may seem far-fetched, it's more a consequence of the general apathy towards a health of gum tissues in the oral cavity than any concept of healthier will help you perform better. What we know is we can achieve perfect tissue health in almost any case caught in the early stages. What we also know is periodontal disease is almost 100% preventable and yet affects more than 80% of the adult population. What we know is that pathogens found in a sick mouth become increasingly aggressive and destructive. And what we know is that pathogens create systemic inflammatory responses. We know there's a significant bioload in the presence of disease, particularly so in the case of chronic disease. And of course, elite athletes are generally well-fed and well-exercised, so quite likely to be healthier than the average show. That means our physiologic machine is much better engineered to handle stresses, and so there should be lesser impact of detrimental insults on the elite athlete compared to, well, for instance, me. Now, if we can find something that makes them healthier and function better, then imagine the impact it would have on us. And here's where it gets cool. Hey, whoa. In some ways, they're just like us. About half don't see the dentist regularly, and about 20% believe their oral health has a negative impact on their performance. And apparently they're right. The same marginal performance enhancements can be found in oral hygiene improvement that you find with proper repair and recovery like physical therapy, then we have the power to make a huge difference. And obviously that's compounded in the person who isn't so finely tuned. Now there are many things that tend to happen with intense training, and we would all be wise to pay attention to their impact on us. With rigorous exercise, there's a good deal of water loss through sweat. In fact, depending on the person in question, there are many ways that dehydration can come into play. Obviously an arid climate or high altitude or intense cardio or training can be a factor, so can other cardio create dehydration and that impacts the quality of saliva, which affects the ability to buffer the acidity in the mouth and then protect the teeth. And the other thing that comes part and parcel with training is reliance on performance enhancing drinks. They're used to replace electrolytes as well as for energy in the form of carbohydrates, but as you fuel your system, you're also feeding the bugs in your mouth. So stop making fun of that person who stops to chug along a bottle of water. For sure, I'm not one to suggest that you not be active. You need to be in order to be healthy and you can use these drinks as you see fit. But the key would be to manage acidity. In fact, health in general is better if you're less acidic, so it makes sense to look at hydration from drinks and look to food for fuel. Hypotonic or low-carb drinks will have less negative impact on the oral health and help you hydrate faster as they're taken up faster than water. Now, obviously, getting your mouth healthy will keep you more on your game, and the reality is the healthier is always healthier. Regular dental visits, excellent home care are essential for optimal quality of life, regardless of what kind of athlete you are. Now, hopefully you'll find yourself stronger and more fit as a part of your commitment to health in the new year. Nutrition, hydration, and excellent oral health are all a part of that process. What things are you doing in your office to help your patients be healthier, to live longer, and to run just a little bit faster? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to like us and subscribe, and we'll see you next time on LVI TV. Oh yeah, I mean definitely. I was always afraid to travel. So. demonstrated their excellence in comprehensive neuromuscular and aesthetic dentistry. These the hunger uh, to become a better cosmetic dentist, I don't think you can